Hi guys, it's me Julie Gilly and I'm here today to do the Spring Things tag. Now, I don't have the official questions for this, but I've just kind of pieced them together from the uh, from the videos that I've watched, and they're not in any kind of particular order, but um, here goes. So, Okay, so the first question is, what are your 10 favorite products for uh, makeup products? And what I really like is to wear, um, is to have kind of like dewy, fresh, you know, spring-like looking skin. So I love my age-defying cream with DNA Advantage Cream Makeup from uh, uh, Revlon because it has a very, very slight shimmer to it and it just it just kind of gives a little bit life to your skin but I can't so there's that um I don't tend to wear bronzers in the springtime I really just like the the fresh kind of you know peaches and cream complexion with some nice light bright colors so I tend to skip a bronzer at this time of the year but I do love blushes and what I really love is cream blush and this one in particular from elf is a really lovely coral shade and it's called Heartbreaker and it's just a really kind of hot coral color and that's what I'm wearing today and the reason why I like the coral is I find that it kind of counteracts if you've got like a, you know cool eyes if you're wearing like pinks or and with my skin being really pale uh, I find I have to go easy with color so if I have you know like purple eyes pink cheeks pink lips then I tend to look kind of clown like and it's like you can see my eyes my cheeks my lips and I find putting like um, a peach or a coral type blush when you're going with you know like a cool purple eye and lip tends to kind of even things out and just you know makes your whole face look cohesive so I really love that coral cream blush and I also like you know some days just have that little pop of pink and my favorite one for that is Heartbreaker Living Doll which is a beautiful pink just really nice and bright on the cheeks and then again, same idea of, of, you know, like if you've got like the purple going on the eyes and pink on the lips or whatever, sometimes you want a natural and neutral looking cheek. So for that, I use my uh, Hard Candy Fox in a Box Smooth Talker or this e.l.f. Uh, Candid Coral. It, you know, like people, oh, coral, but it actually comes across kind of neutral. So I like that. So again, like the nice, light, bright, kind of shiny, luminous looking skin. So I really like highlighter this time of year. And this is my Blend and Glow from Bonnie Bell, which is my favorite highlighter of all time. It's got a beautiful sheen on it with no sparkle or shimmer. It just looks really great on the cheekbones, up here, down so I really like that one, and it's super cheap. It's only $6 at drugstores. So what are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Mm. So <laughs> I've kind of grouped some together because I'm cheating. But anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, another product that I really like is when you're wearing, like, the neutral or lighter pastel -y tones on the eyes, I find it's really important to neutralize your eyelid color. So for that, I love this little L'Oreal Hip Paint that I've had forever. Um, this is just a cream eyeshadow, and it's in Lofty, but I think it's a lot like uh, Max Painterly. It's just a very neutralizing um, tone. And it just kind of makes my eyelids all one color. I really like it. Speaking of eyeshadows, in the springtime, I like to add a little bit of color uh, into my eyeshadows, and I go with really nice kind of like purpley tones, but in the fall, I'll go more plummy. In the springtime, I go more like cool or mauve -y. So really great little palette for that is this little LA Colors palette and Sweet Pleasure. I just really like the shades. Today I'm wearing the two lightest shades over, actually no I'm not, I'm wearing the lightest pink shade and then I'm wearing this purple kind of in my outer corner. So I just, I really like these nice light, fresh, breezy, um, springy Easter colors. Also really love this little palette that I have from Annabelle. And I love this beautiful bright purple here. 
it's kind of coming across blue on the screen, but that one is ultraviolet. It's like a really hot, eh, really hot purple. But then uh, Vanilla Chilla and I think this one is Sugar Dust are just nice light kind of springy colors. And this one is Divine Diva, which is a lot like Max, Max Tracks. So just really pretty springy, light kind of purpley shades. But I also like to inject a little bit of fun and this color is just a beautiful like bright teal and that comes from my e.l.f. Beauty Encyclopedia Smoky Eye and I'm actually wearing it as a liner today. Okay, and then the last two items I'm going to group together. So, uh, lip glosses. I start to like wearing lip glosses in the springtime just because, again, it's got that nice kind of juicy, fresh, you know, new kind of look to it. Uh, last year, I absolutely lived in this color all through March and April, and it's a Revlon Color Burst in Strawberry, and you can see it's a beautiful strawberry shade with some gorgeous shimmer in it and it just looked so the color is just beautiful poppy color perfect for um, springtime also this cherry boost from Rimmel beautiful it's a red but it's like a really nice kind of cherry red so it's absolutely gorgeous Again, along with being careful with colors so that you're not like color everywhere if you're wearing like a colorful eye or a really bright cheek maybe you want to tone down the lips so a nice nude like shimmery nude lip gloss is really great with a little bit of pink in it so it doesn't look like that dead kind of um, nude lip uh, and so for that I really love this one this is my essence triple X nudes in nude kiss and it's nude but it's not uh, it's got some shimmer in it, so it's it's not flat, like it's not a flat nude. And then, as far as lipsticks go, this is my last product, but I'm going to group them together. I love getting into, like, bright and or baby pinks. And also mauve tones. So today I'm wearing Angel from MAC, and it's just a beautiful um, mauve color. But I don't really like wearing this all year, just because the tone... I don't know, it's just me, but I find that's a beautiful spring type color. But in the winter time, it can look a little bit too frosty. So I really like, or like white. So it just, this time of year, it looks really, really nice. Uh, this is Viva Glam Gaga from MAC. So these are really nice, but I find in the winter time, they just, there it is right there. They can end up looking like you've got white lips and or like just too frosty and I just find them too stark. But in the springtime, I find they look really nice and fresh and alive. So I get back into those. And then also bright pinks. Now in the holiday season, I like, you know, the really bright fuchsias and like metallic pinks. But now we're talking like juicy berries. Uh, this is Lollipop from, um, uh, so it's a, a Revlon Lip Butter. So just beautiful, bright pink, but it does have some purple in it. Really fun for spring. And then this is just a Maybelline Baby Lips in, uh, what's this one? Pink Punch? Pink Punch. So bright. And these are juicy, glossy, shiny on your lips. Really perfect for springtime, in my opinion. So those are my favorite 10 um, makeup products for springtime. So the next question I don't think is in the right order, but this is the order that I'm putting it in, and it's what accessories are you most excited about or do you love the most in the springtime? And this year I'm really uh, into turquoise. So I've got, you know, some turquoise earrings. These are just little dangly ones, like really fun and light and airy to wear in the springtime. And then I've also got these little guys that I just showed in my weekly wrap-up video. These are more something that you could wear every day. Uh, the earrings I'm wearing today are like peacock feathers, so lots of blues and purples going on there. My new turquoise necklace, and I like this one because it's light and airy, but it's got the turquoise in it. Also in springtime, I love wearing scarves. I mean, I love the look of scarves on people all year round, but I find that they get too hot in the summertime. Even the light and airy ones like this one. But So the springtime is just like the perfect time. And this is my big blue and white scarf that I picked up in um, H&M, and I just love it so much. So I'm looking forward to starting to wear that, although the weather got cold again, but it's still sunny. 
And I'm really looking forward to pulling out my coach purse because it's this beautiful blue color, just perfect for springtime. So, and actually it goes all the way into summer and fall if you want, but really starting to look, I'm really looking forward to adding some bright blue instead of carrying around a big heavy black bag all the time. Okay, so the next question is, what are you most looking forward to this season? Um, so, I don't know, I'm just, I don't really know what specifically the, that question is in reference to, but I'm just really looking forward to this kind of burst of color that's going on right now. I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, I'm just, I'm looking forward to getting outside and, you know, getting into shape again because we've been hibernating all winter. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, my best friend's getting married. Now she's getting married June 23rd, so she's a little bit like she's actually the start of summer, but planning it in the springtime, really looking forward to that. What else? And just looking forward to enjoying it. I mean, it's my last spring of, you know, my 30s, so I'm going to seize the day every day. So that's what I'm looking forward to, just really enjoying it. And the weather has been fantastic so far. Like, we haven't actually had a lot of rain. So let's just hope that that stays and we don't have a big, rainy, cloudy, crummy April. Okay, what's the next? Okay, so the next question is, what nail polishes do you always reach for in the springtime? And I really like the kind of, you know, Easter egg shades in the springtime. I'm not too big into, like, really baby pinks and, like, the really, really light colors. So I like, you know, a pastel-y or light mauve or light pink, but something that has a little bit of substance to it, something that's got is a cream base as well. I just think that they look, again, like I said, like painted um, Easter eggs. So I really like that. And my favorites are, I have, and these are just like a random sample that I pulled out of my collection. I love this Murray Hill Mauve from NYC. It's just a really nice pinky mauve or mauve. I fell in love with this one last year. This is Lacy Lilac. It's just a beautiful lilac shade. This is Ladylike from Essie, and it's a beautiful mauve, but it's got some gray to it, so it's just, it, again, stops it from being too, too, like, sicky, girly pink. And this is my latest one, and this is, what shade is this? On a Trip from NYC, my glass, it's not showing up as pretty as it is on the camera, it's coming across really blue, but it's just a really pretty, creamy, um, lavender shade or violet shade. I just really, really like it. Then I'm obsessed with blues right now. So just creamy, bright, poppy blues. This is Blew Me Away from Sally Hansen. And this one I really like because it's, it's a, it's a different, a little bit of a different shade. This is Water Street Blue from NYC. And I bought this one for St. Patrick's Day, but I think it's a very, it's actually a very versatile green, and it's Highline Green from NYC, and it's just really pretty, and this was part of a new collection that they had, and I want to go back and get more, because I really like it. It's like a Kermit the Frog green, and this is really, really wearable. Okay, so the next question is, what makeup and fashion trends will you be rocking this season? A lot of times I find, you know, you like you read the fashion magazines and, and uh, you know, like you watch the TV shows and they talk about trends that are really big for the season. But then I find a lot of times they don't translate very well, you know, to like the mass market, like where I sit, which is, you know, shopping at the mall. So a lot of times you'll, you'll hear forecasts for trends that don't really materialize in the actual stores but this year it's all about color and i'm finding it's exploded everywhere like we heard for a couple of seasons oh yeah color 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 but i find this season it's finally like really like there is bright amazing vibrant color everywhere you go vibrant prints I'm very excited about that i've started doing my spring shopping i've been doing spring shopping for like a couple of weeks now and i'm picking up like lots of color um lots of prints it's something that can be a little bit scary because I'm so used to, you know, like black and gray, but I really love this whole color trend, so I'm really looking forward to that. And it's the same with makeup. I love the idea of the brights and the pastels, but um, as I said earlier, with my pale skin, I find like it can look like eyes, cheeks, lips. 
So it's just the idea of adding these, you know, like a little bit, for example, like on your eyes or maybe a bright color on your lips or a bright color on your cheeks, but not doing it all at once. So I'm very much looking forward to that. I can't wait to get my color out and just, you know, start wearing more colorful things. Uh, what else? Oh, I was out looking for shoes for a wedding and I'm seeing ex like just amazing colored shoes everywhere, like bright coral pumps and like color blocked platform shoes and just beautiful. So I'm going to see if I can get something like that to incorporate into my spring and summer footwear this year just to, you know, like cause something like that can liven up a totally like plain outfit, just put like a really bright pop of contrasting color on your feet. It looks so great. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And then the last question is, uh, what are your favorite fragrances for spring? So in the fall and winter, I get warm and cozy and it's all about, you know, like warm vanilla and, and um, uh, like sugary, sweet, like really warm, cozy scents. Then in the summertime, it's about coconut and smelling like sunscreen and just that like fresh. But in the springtime, I really go very like fruity and um, uh, citrusy. So... For example, right now I'm obsessed with the pink grapefruit scent, and this is just a shower gel from Bath and Body Works. But I love how it's just so fresh and alive, and it just wakes you up. So I'm obsessed with everything grapefruit. This is a scent that I got from Bath and Body Works ages ago, and it's called Sweet Pea Forever, and it has sweet pea, but it's also got pink grapefruit. So it's got that really nice, I'm going to wear this today, fresh, um springtime smell. I really like this one, but I can't find it anymore, and I'm very disappointed with that. My favorite Juicy Couture scent, because I have two, uh, for spring and summer is, this is, what's this one? Is this Couture? This is Viva La Juicy, and I love this one because it's a very, it's lighter, and it's more vanilla-y, and it's just, it's, it's a nice, really nice spring and summer scent in my opinion. And then if you just want to feel just fresh and clean, I really like this Philosophy Pure Grace because it smells like soap. <sighs> spring is in the air. Spring fever is everywhere. Gosh. So there you go, guys. Those are my spring things tag. I tag you to do it and post a video response below. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.